Okay, this question is testing you on the property of circles. Okay, so do bother to read the question. So there is a circle. And if you look carefully at the circle, there are five points on the circle. Okay, so be sensitive to the number of points on the circle because uh, if you've got five points, that means right, you can have more than one cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, so make sure you can detect where is the cyclic quadrilateral. So like for the first inspection, right, you should be able to see that this part is a cyclic quadrilateral. So that is the first inspection that you should see. And they actually gave you a pair of parallel lines. So in a way, that is a trapezium also. Okay, so that is the first thing that I will have seen. Then after that, uh, we are told about parallel line. So if you want to, in case you forgot about the parallel line, some, some students will tell me, I, I didn't see the parallel line. So if you are worried that you didn't see the parallel line, do highlight them first. Okay, then later on, they just give us two angles, then we are expected to find the rest of the angle. So it will be good if you just look at the, the diagram first, inspect what you can find first. So I'm going to sh show you a bit of what I can find first. Uh, first of all, I can find there's a 90 degree here. Okay, that's because there's a diameter here. Okay, so that's because there's a diameter here. So I will see a 90 degree. And then, right, I also see an angle in the same segment. So this is a 35. So I saw the 35 at the uh, angle in the same, se uh, sorry, yeah, angle in the same segment. Okay, then subsequently, uh, what else can you see? So you realize I'm not answering the question yet. So I'm just looking at what I have first. And then I also see I saw this triangle. Because the, the I have the two radius, OC and ODR radius. So actually I also got I saw this triangle. So I'm just doing an initial running through of the, the information that I can see or the property I can see first. Okay, so the first one is asking me for um, BED. So BDED is here. Okay, so uh, so just now I, I already realized that there's a 90 degree triangle. So with the 90 degree triangle, I can actually find this angle. So with this 90 degree, I can actually find this I can find this angle, so that will be a 55 degree if I do an angle sum of triangle. So I'm doing angle sum of triangle in triangle AED. Because I got the 90 degree, so you will need to explain the 90 degree. It's a property. Okay, why am I looking for the 55? I am looking for the 55 so that I can do an interior angle. so that I can do an interior angle to find BED. So I'm trying to do, after I got the 55, I will have an interior angle. So the interior angle can help me to find BED. So I'm gonna do 180 subtracting these two angles that will give me BED. So do remember that if you are quoting interior angle, you need to quote that the interior angle come from the respective pair of parallel line. Okay, so that is something I have gotten. And now that I got the 77, so you make sure you write down the information as you go along. So you make sure you write down the information as you go along. So it may help you in the second part. So the next part, I'm supposed to find BCE. So the next part, I'm supposed to find a BCE. So if you still remember at the start of the question, I mentioned to you about the cyclic quadrilateral. So I mentioned to you about the cyclic quadrilateral. So I can use the 77 
to find the whole angle here. So I can use the 77 to find the, the whole angle here, which is the 103. So this property is known as angle in the opposite segment. It's a cyclic quark property. And subsequently, just now I also mentioned that before answering the question, I already see a 35 degree here. So there was another 35 here. So this is a 35. This 35 is due to angle in the same segment. So I just need to find the 103 through angle in the opposite segment. And then I find a 35 because of angle in the same segment. And I can just do a subtraction to get what the question wants. So it's actually very easy. If you can see, you can explore a little bit before you start the question. So this is a 68 degree. Okay, so the first two part is quite easy already. Now, the next one, there is a little bit of um major sector. Okay, so I'm going to erase off a little bit first. Okay, please read the question as I am. Uh, I, so this part here, the radius is five centimeter and I would like the major sector. So I'm going to write part C here. So the radius is five centimeter. So there will be a lot of radius around. Okay, so later on we indicate the radius and I will like the major sector O, A, E, D, C. So some students, they will not know where is the major sector. You follow the alphabet. You start from O, go to A, you literally join the dot and then go to E. But because we are talking about major sector, so you will need to join it with an arc. Then going to D with an arc and then eventually going to C and obviously you close back up with the original point. So this is the major sector that I would like to find. So in order to find this major sector, you have two choices. So some people might want to find the small pizza first. So they want they might want to find the small pizza. They get the small pizza and they use the whole circle to minus the uh, the, the small pizza. Okay, so that can be one method. Whatever is it, you need certain angle. So whatever is it, you need certain angle. Okay, so the angle that we are looking at will be here. So remember just now at the start of the question, I mentioned that it is an isosceles triangle here. So because of the isosceles triangle, you will be able to work out that this is an 84 degree. And subsequently, you'll be able to work out using the angle on the straight line to be 96. So you can find the minor sector first. You can find the minor sector first, which is 96 over 360 times pi r squared. So you can find the green little one first. So this part will be the green little one then you subtract the green little one from the full circle. So the full circle is just pi r squared, which is pi phi squared. Or subsequently, like what I did in my answer sheet, I use the reflex angle. So I use the reflex angle. The reflex angle is just 360 minus 96. So I use the reflex angle, and then I can find the whole major sector directly. So this is what I did in my answer sheet. So obviously there's another option. You can find the green color pizza and subtract that green color pizza from the whole circle. Okay, so either way should give you the same answer. There shouldn't be discrepancy in this part. 